Hello everybody, I'm afraid this video has a load of bad news for you and it's not just about what I'm doing on YouTube, it's about what other teachers can and now can't do. So um, I've got a bit of a sore throat, I've got a, some water here so hopefully you can keep hearing my voice. But basically I was going to bed last night and I know this is bad but I just thought I'd just check my emails before I go to sleep. I often have uh, different people emailing me at different times of the day from different parts of the world to my different email addresses and I thought I'll just you know, see what people have uh, said. So I was about to get to bed and I saw an email from Primrose Kitten, uh, we've done quite a few videos together, and she said, um, have you seen this? So I looked at what she sent and it was one of the other YouTubers, a guy, Science Shorts, who's done loads of videos for physics um, and basically AQA have served him loads of copyright notices. What this means is that um, on his channel he had some really good videos and you know, this is the thing as teachers, we do like to kind of uh, support other teachers. He did some really good videos where he did some walk walkthrough talkthroughs of different AQA past papers. AQA have basically said to him, you can't do that. And rather than just sort of maybe messaging him and actually saying, you know, can you take these down? Uh, they've gone down the kind of the, the harder route and that means, you know, things like his channel are in jeopardy. So on his channel, uh, he basically talks about the kind of uh, the strikes that he's got. I don't know what this means, if it means he can't put out any more videos for a while or if it could mean that his video, his kind of channel has to close. But AQA have taken this rather dramatic route. And the thing is, I've spoken to lots of people at AQA and the kind of the teachers or the kind of ex-teachers who now work for AQA, often as subject advisors for science, and they're really nice people. In actual fact, I made some really good videos a couple of years ago with some of the people from AQA about how exams are marked and you know why it's important to not write outside of the boundaries. And um, we had some really good videos and AQA, it wasn't the people I spoke to who said no, but it was people higher up in the company who said, you can't do that. We don't want to be seen to be doing this. On the other hand, I've made videos on my channel with people from Edexcel, OCR, WJC, all of the other main exam boards, and they want you to have information. They want you to know as much as possible about the exams. So when it comes to the exam, you're as well prepared as you can be, and that means you can do better. So, um, I'm not quite sure what's happening, but you can see that there's loads of past papers which have been taken down, and I suspect this is going to happen on other channels as well. Now, um, some other channels, for example, Exam Solutions, what they have done is that they've not actually got any AQA papers on there at all. Uh, and actually, as I'm looking around more stuff on YouTube, I'm finding that lots and lots of AQA past papers just aren't available. What does this mean? Well, it means for you, when you're coming to revise, especially if you're doing AQA, it's going to be very hard to find maybe the 2018 papers, the 2017 papers, or even in the future, the 2019 papers. And I think the danger is that a lot of people like me, who as creators and teachers, we want you to kind of see the work to pass paper solutions. You're not going to be able to see that. Even if we don't actually have the exam paper in front of us, we don't want to be infringing their copyright if they're thinking, well, actually, we're telling people too much about what's on that paper. So, um, at the moment, uh, on my website, I've taken down any of the past papers I had from Edexcel and OCR, and obviously I had a few AQA ones as well. Uh, so they've all gone down, so they're not on my website anymore. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is actually trying to find out what I can show you. So as we're moving forward, as it goes into your exam period, you've got as many past papers as possible to view. So um, at the moment, uh, I don't know what's going to happen, but um, thank you very much to Primrose Kitten, uh, Hope Science Shorts, it all goes well for you. And I suppose in terms of what I'm doing now, because I had obviously all these videos, um, some of them I've already made, some of them I haven't made yet, but I'm going to think about actually is it a good idea for me to publish this on YouTube. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. Um, but what I want to do is do as much as I can for people like you. So if you've got any suggestions about how I can get around this copyright side of things so that all of you can see all the papers that you want to, um, do just let me know. And the thing is, I'm sure if it's happened with AQA, it might follow with OCR, Edexcel and all of the others. Um, in the short term though, if you want to make sure that uh, you do have access to all the material that you need, maybe go to my website, so both the GCSE and A-level websites. I've got learning checklists there that I, um, I based on the specifications, so it might be a good idea to download those now in case I have to take them down in the future. Anyway, apart from that, um, I'm trying to let my voice prepare so I can actually film a few more videos. Uh, I've got a couple of busy weeks ahead of me. I'm going up to uh, do some talks at uh, Physics in Action, so I've got one tomorrow, which I really hope my voice recovers for. Uh, I've got one in a couple of weeks uh, in sort of mid-December, 
And apart from that, I'm just uh, cracking on with the website. So if you're a GCSE student, have a look at the GCSE Physics Online. I've organised it by topic for AQA, for Edexcel, for Edexcel iGCSE. And yesterday I, and today I've, I've been working on the OCRA Gateway course. So there's loads of stuff that I don't need my voice for as so I'm having a break from making videos. But yeah, I just thought it's important to, um, I suppose, show my support for the other YouTubers out there, the other teachers making videos for you. And I suppose that's the reason why lots of past papers won't be available for you in the short term. Until then, thank you.